Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and I have changed filming to my new, not really new, it's my sister's camera that we got a few years ago. Oh, sorry if I keep looking aside, there's a few finer side that I flipped over so yeah. Um, basically it's a new camera that I'm using which I used to use in the past but my sister needed it for school because she learns Chinese media and so I switched to my own small handheld camera and yeah, it was not as good as this because this obviously is a Canon EOS camera and um, basically you guys can see by the title of the video, I'm going to do a bookshelf tour so this bookshelf is right behind me in this white cupboard here so um, I have two bookshelves, one is in my room, one is in my sister's room but uh, today I'm solely doing the one in my room because firstly it's neater, secondly um, my sister's bed is like smacked against the wall also this video would take too long so before I start the video on my bookshelf tour I just wanna ask you guys for this favor because I am trying to decide whether I want to do a Q&A and if um, you guys have any questions for me or like my mom because I'm thinking of letting her into my video this like in that video if I do a QA. and a so if and you have any videos or not videos um if you have any questions for me I would like you guys to comment down below as much questions as you guys can and if you have any questions for maybe my mom if you guys want her so uh two things you guys have to do firstly have any questions for me at all um, please comment down below any kind of questions, personal um, stuff, but there's some stuff that I will not reveal in a Q&A before I say that. Um, like my school and where I stay and stuff like that, some things just have to remain private. So secondly, I want you guys to comment yes or no down below whether you want my mother in the next video. I have had her in some of my um, vlogs before on my other channel, guys. Uh, you guys can go check it out on my um, cruise vlog. The first day she is in it and we talked a lot and it was kind of funny. Um, so yeah, basically these two things you guys please comment down below and let's get started with the video. Also guys, I my cam my camera tripod is spoiled but um, I asked my mom and she's getting me a new one for Christmas so yay! And so I can go back filming like my normal type of um, study vlogs and kind of stuff like that and I'm thinking of making a bullet journal. I keep looking there because my bullet journal's there but uh, my bullet journal uh, sort of like thing for you guys to see so maybe. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to pan around my cupboard which is up here. It's these two doors so yeah. So basically because my my tripod spot, I'm going to explain one by one by you guys behind the camera So I'm holding this heavy ass camera trying to explain stuff. So um, Basically how I do this as an order. So this is all um, From the first road. It's more or less some of my favorite um, books and basically I Basically gave up arranging it. I probably have to rearrange it, but um, all these books here are Percy Jackson and more Percy Jackson. So Percy Jackson is one of my most favorite um, book series of all time and yeah so that's where I keep it and because there is not enough space to keep them straight I stack them up. So then you have down here the Run Hide Seek and Ever After by Gabby Tai. I'm sure a lot of Singaporeans know this. She's an awesome writer and if you haven't read her book yet please go check it out. Then I have these three books here um, of, ne of Poseidon, of, Neptune, of Triton and of Neptune. It's the other way around, so from top to bottom. Don't know why I stacked it this way, but yeah. So this one my favourite ones, but it's sort of like a teen, young adult kind of book, so yeah. And basically, the Divergent series, I'm sure a lot of you guys know. Um, one well, of my favourite books of all time, don't mind the wreck Insurgent and Allegiant books because I am as you guys know very protective of my books 
and I lent it to my friends sort of ended up in this situation and the top there there's um, here and beyond child stories and that is what I'm using for my literature next year yes I'm taking literature then next there we have um, the Maze Runner series and also one of my favorite ones but I didn't really like Kill All, that was really boring so I didn't finish that. Then we have this Fault in Our Stars and I don't know what series this is called but I call it the Throne of Glass series. And yeah, it's really good. I read of I read Throne of Glass already, I'm at Crown of Midnight and Arrow of Fire I bought it in advance. So moving on we have these books here and basically what happened is Miss Peregrine, I only have one of the books, I don't have all of them. Eleanor and Park, I got it in Taiwan once and I read it on the, uh, when I was back in Singapore and it was a really really good book. I'm sorry if it's shaky, I'm trying to hold this camera up, it's really heavy and I'm using one hand. Um, Paper Towns, I got it, I can't remember where I got it but one of my favourite books too. Um, this one is a book that my sister wanted to get but none of us has read yet. To Kill a Mockingbird, I have the book but I have not read it yet. Um, Nicholas Park's book is my mom's book, so she has no space in her room, so she keeps it here and in my sister's room. So, Trial of Apollo, what happened was that because that side, it's all stacked up and there's a certain length, so this one's a bit too tall to stack up, so I put it here. Then, above here, we have um, Red Queen and the Glass Sword. So, this was supposed to be like this, but it was too tall, so I had to stack it up like that. And yeah. Below that, I have City of Bones, and basically, City of Bones, I read um, that book in paper, but the rest of the book, I had it uh, read online, and I have gone next, and I have not done that book. I do not know what I'm reading inside there. Next to that, um, if my camera can focus for a while, I have a Throne of Fire and the Red Pyramid, King Chronicles, basically not done with that. Um, I have a lot of books that I've not read yet. Then I have the Harry Potter series, which I actually didn't read much of, but um, that's why I don't have all the books. But yeah, and then I have Percy Jackson, which could not be stacked up, also, which is the Greek Gods and the Hidden. Wait, I can't read that. The Hidden Oracle. So um, Apollo Charles and Percy Jackson. And next to this, I have a bunch of books that I stacked up. Uh, Ice Kiss Crystal Kingdom, I don't know what series that is part of, but I loved it and I have not read the first book so it's kind of funny. And then we have Fango which I really really loved. And then at the top there, um, J.K. Rowling, the Fantastic Beast, the screenplay I think. No wait, it's the, yeah it's the screenplay. And I kind of read through it, it's kind of okay, I loved it. Really weird story but okay. Um, and Storm and Siren and Asylum, I've not read that. Um, top here, uh, Shadow. Wait, the top here, I have Shadow and Bone and Pygmalion. Pygmalion is one of the books I'm using for literature too, so yeah. And then I have The Siren in Chinese, which I bought from Taiwan. And Deep Blue marked, um, this though I've yet to read. I kind of read Deep Blue, but I kind of got, like, got distracted by other books, so yeah. And then. The, I don't know what it's called, um, what's it called? World Walker series by Josephine Angelini. I really loved it. And The Infinite Sea is a book I borrowed from my friend and I didn't finish reading it and I'm still keeping it. I don't know why. A Step Two as the Falling and I've read that book but I really forgot what it's all about. And the last bit here. The last bit here, I have Merchant of Venice which is the book I used this year for literature. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, I uh, wait, what? Oh yeah, confused. Um, then I have my three Magnus Chase books. And yeah, and basically this site is all stuff like for the um, printers and stuff. So yeah, that's all for this one. The thing is for watching, I'm sorry the camera's shaky. It's a really big camera and it's hard to hold up so long, especially when my cover is so high up. But I promise it won't be shaky if I decide to do the next one in my sister's room. And um, yeah, basically that's all for my bookshelf tour and it's really really short but okay. And basically thank you guys for watching and um, can you guys please seriously help me with the Q&A thing because I really don't have many followers. Also I opened up a snapchat for you guys to follow me around because my other snapchat has like 
a lot of my friends and it's kind of awkward because my seniors and stuff they don't know I'm doing this so I really want you guys to go and follow me on snapchat you guys can catch up with me there and my instagram everything will be linked down below and um, you guys please help out with the Q&A thing I'm really trying to see if I get enough questions to do it so if I do get enough questions I will do it and if enough people voted yes I will ask my mom to join me in the Q&A probably it will be up um, next year or after Christmas and stuff like that but yeah I need my new tripod so so um, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys help me out with this thing and I have a total of let us know 37 subscribers right now and thank you guys so much because like literally my other channel is only 10 I'm thinking of changing it into a vlog channel where you guys can catch up me on random days where I decided to where, where I decide to vlog and you guys comments are really really nice and I really thank you guys and yeah it's a really big jump for me I really thank you guys so much for that and I can actually see that most of you are not subscribed right now, but it's really funny. So, basically, that's all for my video today, and I really hope that you guys will subscribe, and thank you guys for watching, so, uh, you guys, if you're not subscribed, please sub hit the subscribe below, click the bell if you haven't already, and I am trying to keep on the schedule, so, my schedule right now is by 7pm every Saturday, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and please remember to comment down below what you think of my video and about the Q&A thing and the yes and no if you guys want my mom, my mom to come inside the videos if you guys have not seen her, it's really funny and it's really cute but okay. Um, yeah, that's all and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!